Once you have found your location where you're going to paint, you're going to spend an hour. I like to spend no more than an hour in one location. Uh, say take 15 minutes to do the sketch and maybe 30 minutes to do the painting. The faster you paint, the better your paintings will become. What you want to try and do is you want to set the big areas in first, okay? But actually, here's all the material I'll need in this little carry case here. Uh, as you can see, I brought it in from Colorado with the airlines. It's uh, TSA approved, so you don't have to worry about that. It has wheels on it. You can roll it. You don't have to carry it. And then all these little accessory pockets right here, they hold hat. You can put your hats here. You can put, uh, uh, here's some old technology here. This is what we used. I, I had this from the 70s. I've been using it from the 70s. It, is, it looks terrible, but uh, it's a platform I use for my painting. Okay, it's an old piece of plexiglass, and I taped some cardboard on the back of it, and these are the little clips that I used to use, okay? But with the advent of the blocks, we don't need this, uh, but I always carry it with me as good luck, okay? So there, now once you, here, then you can open this up here. Let's see, you can open this up here. Like this, you open it up. Okay, here's what we got here, okay? We have a plastic sack. You always need trash containers. Here is a 400 pallet, which I showed you right there. I like to put it in a piece of plastic because uh, if you have moist paint in there, you don't want it to get everywhere. Okay, here it is here. This is, uh, this is how my setup will be right here. There's my colors. And this is the same palette that I showed you right here. Okay, we got that. That sits right in the top here. Okay, now off to the side. This is my water container. This is some old technology here too, but it works. Okay, there's the water container. Here is my uh, spray bottle here. Okay, and here is a, if you like to read, here's an umbrella, and if you need an umbrella, those are paper gloves, these are sketch pens right here, value markers. Now we're going to lift out the actual easel. Okay, now this is a really a neat easel. Um, I have since heard that uh, they're redesigning it. So, but I'll go ahead and mention this for the simple fact that for the people who have one of these uh, Joe Miller signature easels, there have been some confusion on how to set it up. So, these this information here will pertain to only to the people who have purchased this easel here. This is one of the best easels I've ever found for comfort and for uh, durability while I'm out painting. Okay. Okay, here we go. They have telescopic legs that come out like this, okay? And they have snap releases. You just snap it like this. You just hold the easel on your hip here, on your leg here. Like this, okay? And you just hit the snaps, pull it out. Snaps like that. Same with over here. I like to start with the one on the bottom. And then there's nothing in the way here at the top, okay? One thing I like about this easel, it has four legs. Most of the easels that I've ever painted off and worked off of only had, th only had three, three legs. Okay, now, there is some confusion on setting up the easel here. What we need to do is you need to set it up and you need to extend the legs out each way. Once you have a good platform there, if you need to level it up where your box is level, just come down here and you can get it, oh, it's somewhat level. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but just get it to where the water does not uh, um, run off everything. And also too here, this is the, uh, the upright that holds your paper right here. And it has adjustable um, segments there and it can go either big or whatever you want, okay? Now, here's a, a nice little feature here. This is a tray, and then as you can see inside here, there's all sorts of neat uh, carrying capacity inside here, okay? This is a brush for some of the brushes I will be using, okay? This is the uh, American Journey round. 
This is the uh, Magic Dragon, and this is a little uh, quarter inch square, okay? And this is a little rigger brush, okay? These are the brushes that I have used, uh, that I'm using now, but I have an opportunity to f uh, use some new brushes here, and I'm quite excited about that, okay? Um, it's always nice to get new material, so you can always um, uh, expand your knowledge of painting. Okay, so this tray comes out here. This tray on this side comes out over here, like this. And then we have a tray here for there. So see, once you get it set up, you can just see all the areas that you can um, uh, use here. I like to put my palette here. I like to put my Kleenexes and my uh, um, rolls of paper towels or your squirt bottle or whatever here and then over here will be my water. Now this little item here, this is a wonderful little item. Uh, they have just come out this year with this and we will just set this up right here right now. Okay, We need some water for this little Hummer here. So one thing I like about this this easel set up is that once you get the legs extended it's very very sturdy. I have been using this easel to paint in 20 mile an hour winds. Okay. Now this is a multi-purpose super absorbent light load towel that Joe, Cheap Joe is there. You see a picture of the fine gentleman. Anyway when I first got this in March I was wondering what in the heck is this thing? And I've never seen anything quite like this before and I thought well it might be to use in order of a sponge in, in case of a sponge or whatnot. But anyway, I set it by my, by my water container and a little bit of water fell on it and pretty soon I noticed it expanding. And whoa and behold, look at what we have here. This becomes a towel. <laughs> becomes a towel right here, okay? Look at that. I don't know how they do it, but it's a wonder. And what I do, I take one of these towels and I put it down here. Okay? I do that because my water container will be here and I'm always slopping water. Okay? I will put that there. This will be my sponge that I will use right here, right there. And then I have another little sponge here that I will use in my hold in my hand here. Okay. Once we have this set up, okay, I'll bring my brushes over here. I'll put the brushes in there, and I'll just set everything there. Okay, now, Kleenex right here goes right here, and this will go here. This is a spray bottle, a heavy spray bottle. I'm sure Joe has some of these. And what we need, there we go. And we can put our misting. We can put our mister over here also. One thing I like about this design is you have all this space here, okay? Once you get that on there, you can hang that like that or like this, okay? Now, once you have this completed, you can just put all this stuff back in here. And then you just close this up and you just slip it off to the side here, okay? Now we're ready to go. We're ready to paint, okay? Um, I use, I hold a, sp a sponge in my left hand, so um, you have to be very careful of the paints that we use. Uh, they have health warnings on them, and uh, uh, so you got to be very careful. I will have my left hand in the paints, so I use a exam glove, a plastic glove, okay? Here's another towel that I will have here. This is a used towel of one of these that I will have on hand because I'm always needing uh, towels to wipe up spills or whatever. Okay, now once you get set up here, okay, here's the same palette that I told you that's in here, okay? Here it is right here. And this will set up, I usually set that right there, and then this, will fit right here on this tray here. So basically, I am set up. I have my water, I have my sponges, I have my brushes, and I have my palette. And then over here I have uh, 
to clean up the mess you're going to make.